In the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, Dan Whalen's here. The Food in My Beard is his blog, and he's got some creative things that he always brings us and always puts together. Gnocchi nachos is what we're making today, and you're probably going like, what? What's that? What's that? We're going to show you. Hey, when, when you make this stuff, right, how do you think up this stuff? Is it just kind of like trial and error? There's a ton of different ways I come up with ideas, uh, you know, like getting inspired by a restaurant or a TV show or something. Right. But when I come up with an idea where the name actually works so well, <laughs> as well as the food, I'm like, then gotta make it right away. Gold. It's a winner, it's a winner. You've struck gold. So this also, I wrote a tater tot cookbook. Mm -hmm. And a big trend with tater tots right now is tachos. A... Which is nachos, but with tater tots instead of chips. That sounds awesome. And when I kept working on these tacho recipes, I thought, what else can I use? And gnocchi is also potatoes. Right. Similar size as tater tots. All right. So. That's no, how it all came together. No chose. That's yeah. how it all came together. All right, so, so what do we need to put these together? Uh, what's great about this is you can do it mostly store-bought or mostly from scratch. Mm -hmm. I'm doing from scratch today because I like I, you know, like to cause pain on myself. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But, uh, you know, buy, all the, buy the homemade gnocchi from the store. Buy, you know, this is taco meat that I made. Buy, use leftover taco meat or buy it. We have avocado, uh, jalapenos. I think nachos need oh, yeah, they jalapeno. Do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pico de gallo, sour cream. And uh, for my no gnocchi, I have the dough here that I'm going to make. Right. And I get to, I like make it from scratch because I get to use my favorite kitchen tool. Oh, what is that? This is a potato ricer. So I bake the potatoes. Yeah. You know, right there, baked right. potato. Put it in this guy. Look at, oh, see that? It's like, it's like Play Doh. <laughs> it is it's like, like Play Doh, Play -Doh exactly. Thing. Just like Play Doh. And, you know, you mix those potatoes with the flour and egg, and then we'll. Uh, later on, I'll show you how to make the actual. That milk. sounds good. All right. Well, I did see the finished product, and he posts <laughs> pictures all the time on his blog, and they look delicious. The food in my beard is Dan's blog. You can go and check that out. We will uh, put this together, and we're going to give this a try as well. Back to you. All right, Dan Whalen here. The food in my beard is the blog. We've got uh, gnocchi nachos. Try to say that a bunch of times fast. Uh, that's what we're putting together here in the Rocho Kitchen this morning. Now, you're going to make, make, make this. Make the gnocchi right All now, right. yeah. Um, I was just laughing because we got a Christmas card with a big letter every year, and my whole family sits around on Christmas Eve and, and makes fun of it. <laughs> well, see, that's fun. <laughs> that's what you want to do. Well, you want to be the receiver of that, but not the sender. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so this is the dough that I started to put together. I love that. <laughs> this is the dough I started to put together with the potato in it. Sure. Just mix it up a little bit, and uh, to make the gnocchi, you roll it out like, again, like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. uh, take a little knife and kind of make the segments here. Mm -hmm. And I, I like kind of larger ones for this, because when you're eating it with right, the natural ingredients, yeah. Uh, and it makes it easier for you as someone who right. makes it as well. Uh, I have a gnocchi board, which costs like a $2, but also a fork works fine as well. And you take the piece here yep. with your thumb, and you put it, push it down like that, and then roll it off the fork into that classic. Look at that thing. Do you want to try? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna take it. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah. You, you know. You. I'm gonna have you go over the side here. Sure. So I'm gonna take it like this, right? Yeah. Put it on here. Yep. With and then push, push it, it down. down with my thumb, and then kind of roll yeah, look it. Look at that. Roll it over like this. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it works fine. Yeah. And Actually, I think yours is yours is better with that. Thing. Well, the board it makes the, the sort of more. Oh, let me try with the board. The fact is, I if you're making it at home, it's better to have imperfections because then people who are eating it know that you actually made it. Right, you didn't buy it at like yeah, Venda or something like that. <laughs> if yeah. you sit there with all the perfect gnocchi and you're like, oh, I made these, people are going to be like, ah, oh, did you? Yeah, yours looks better than mine, <laughs> but you do a lot of them all the time. Yeah, uh, but you know, if you're only making this for one or two people, it's actually pretty easy. Mm. Like when I was prepping for this segment, I ate some for dinner last right. night. It actually was and everybody's you know, complaining about thing. you couldn't be happy you can't have for dinner, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to put this together. We will uh, we'll talk about to Dan, too, because he's got a lot of great recipes on his blog. Really just simple stuff that you may not have even thought of before. We'll talk about that, and we will put this together in just a little bit. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, wrapping things up. Dan Whalen is the guy. It is uh, the Food in My Beard blog, a, a place basically you can go to and find some probably some pretty unique recipes. Checking that, out the beard. Yeah, pretty unique Nothing recipes there, that yeah. you've, you've probably never made before or even maybe even thought of before. We've got uh, gnocchi nachos is what we're putting together. I did see the finished product. Looks pretty awesome. Looks really awesome. At this time of year, 
all I'm posting is fun cocktail party stuff, mm -hmm. which I think this is like a unique appetizer you can bring to right. kind of like when you're hanging out with your friends. And uh, so that's what you can go check out on my site this time. Yeah. Well, that's that's one of the things. You, you go into a party and someone says, can you bring something? You don't yeah. want to bring the two. The same old, same old, like everybody else does. Right. It's a great place to go and go, you know what? I'm going to whip this up and it's going to become my thing and I'm not going to tell anybody. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so when you make, oh no, you want one overboard, you can, uh, after you make it, crisp it up in the pan like this. Okay. And that is going to help us with the final product. Again, because I was kind of thinking of tachos when I was coming up with this recipe. Oh, all right. So uh, we have the, the taco meat and again, like use leftovers, buy it at the store. Smart. I like to make sure. I kind of take a light hand with nachos. People's first instinct when you're making nachos is to pour everything on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you pile it on, if you go a little lighter in the end, the final product will be better. I think. All right. Nice. So again, we have all made nachos before. In the immortal four a.m. in the afternoon, maybe too. But whatever works. Whatever yeah. works. And then you're just gonna bake that like any other nachos. Okay, so put that in the oven, let that go, and let yeah. that sit for a little bit. And, and I have a finish one. Yep, yeah, right, watch out because it's a little it's really warm. Hot. I'm going to step over Yeah, here, a little warm this. might be a... Here we go. <laughs> Will will be with us again in a minute. Here there he is. Bye. He didn't leave you. Here we go. Look at this. And huh? there it is. And then Ooh, the oh. usual stuff you love to put on top after that. A little sour cream. Mm -hmm. Some salsa. I put the salsa on after instead of before. But, you know, it's up to you. Now, do you recommend eating with a fork or diving right in with oh, one's hands? You need forks for this. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. You traditionally... The, ooh. Guacamole. Guacamole, yes. Oh my. Yeah, nachos are a hand thing, but if you're at a party, you're putting it on a plate anyway, so right. that's why. And again, tachos aren't really intended for right. fingers either. Mm -hmm. So it's so good to have so you explain to it. Once we broke the barriers of nachos and didn't need to use fingers anymore, right. that's when the world really <laughs> opened up. Yeah. So is there a way to attack this, or are we just like... You really just go in, and, We're gonna go and in. you know, right. at a party you kind of would have your own. If only your I own can thing. reach the nachos. Mr. Kirby, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Well, oh, I'm gonna pass this oh, thank you, doctor. Excuse me. Oh, Ooh, that this. looks good. Are you kidding <laughs> me? What what the gonna, heck, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move this in closer thank to you, us, so we can all. <laughs> We're gonna have a little, so we can all enjoy something nice. Oh my! Come on, let's let's give this a shot. This While we are so gnashing on this, Dan, <laughs> yes. tell us about the blog because you do. I'm not joking. When you go on your blog, you, you've got a lot of things that people may have not have thought of. Before. Not thought. That's what I try to do. I try to do unique recipes that are, that, but they're not unapproachable mm -hmm. or weird. It's mm -hmm. stuff that people have had and tried, and people know what they are. Everyone's had these things, just in different ways. And then when you eat them in this way, when they're together in a different way you've never had, it's familiar and different at the same time. And it's something that everyone can make at home. Mm, yeah. uh, good God almighty, that's good. <laughs> Is it too hot to eat, by the way? No. No, dude. Mm. We'll be with you in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> this is so good. Stay right there. This is... Really? This is really good. This may be your zenith, your oh, well. Mount Everest. <laughs> Thank you, I mean, when, the, like I said no earlier, when the name matches up, right? You know well, even when I saw this yesterday, I'm like, well, what the heck is this thing? What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't understand what this is. And then I looked at it. We break it down a little bit for you, like we always. We like to break things down. Break it down <laughs> as only we can. <laughs> we break it down with a slow jam, uh, gnocchi, and then I was like, oh, gnocchi nachos. That's yeah. what it is. Oh, so you're going in for another bite, Dan? Oh yeah, of course. I thought it was for us. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Is that? Can't not you right? make more at home? Take a look at that right there. Are you kidding me? Can't you make more? Needs a little trim. <laughs> Hey, that thanks looks, for being here. That oh, yeah. was so good. Thank you really guys for having me. It's always, always a pleasure to have you join us. Dan Whalen is this fine gentleman's name. The food in my beard is the blog. The gnocchi really nachos are what we are noshing on here this morning. If you'd like the recipe to get info on the blog, visit roadshow.com.